Hey, what's up, YouTube? I want you to take a look at something that just arrived in the mail today. Boom! Vortex Viper HS. And not only am I going to show you a little unboxing video, but if you're lucky and you stick around, I'll show you what it looks like installed on my rifle. Stay tuned. Alright, so here we are Vortex Viper HS rifle scope just arrived to the in the mail today so I'm opening this along with you guys for the first time a little bit more durable package than their cheaper scopes uh, at least from what I recall alright so this is what you get in the box it looks like a little scope protector for the box so it doesn't cave in easily um, Looks like you get Vortex pin. That's pretty cool. That is pretty sweet. Never seen anything like that before. And if I if I Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I guess correct. Wow, that's pretty cool. So I know this doesn't come in some of their lesser expensive scopes. But this came with my other Vortex Viper that I have. It's the uh, sunshade for when you're shooting in uh, like sunnier days, so it uh, doesn't bother your your sight picture as much. And if you order this separately online, I think it's like forty or something dollars, maybe thirty, forty bucks. So that's pretty cool that they included in the box. So we'll set that aside, and we're gonna definitely check out to see what that looks like on this one. Although the one thing I do not like about it is it kind of makes the scope up here really long so maybe just something to toss in the range bag and uh, forget about it unless you need it <clears throat> all right so onto the scope itself and yes my calculations were correct so i tried to find some measurements online before i bought it to make sure that this is the the size that I wanted because I don't know about you guys but I'm not particularly fond of the gigantic scopes that some of these uh, companies are making these days and so this is about what I was looking for and the nice thing about this too is it's a 30 millimeter tube so a little more durable a little bit better sight window but uh, as you guys can see As you guys can see, it's the Vortex Viper HS 2.5 to 10x by 44 millimeter. And it comes with these nice little scope rings, or uh, not scope rings, uh, scope caps, whatever you call these things. Comes with their brand new tag with uh, an attention letter on there. Garbage. And, uh, yeah, here she is. I really like the size of this one because some of the other scopes are just enormous for what they are. And I think that's unnecessary. This one just looks nice and compact. <clears throat> and, of course, I kept it simple. I went with the, uh, the V-Plex MOA reticle. Um, I'm not particularly over fancy. Some of my other scopes are a little bit fancier than this one, but I wanted to keep it simple. This is just going to go in my hunting rig, so I didn't need anything extra complicated. But as you can see, these are locked and capped turrets. One click equals a quarter rim away. And these are super high quality. These are nicer than my other um, Viper that I have. I think this one might be a little newer, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, tons of adjustments. But in, a, in in such a simple package, you know, some of these other scopes have like 14 different knobs and buttons and whatever else. So I like to keep it simple on some of my more simple rigs. Um, so yeah, there's the, I don't know if you'll be able to see the reticle. Yeah, that's going to be impossible. But to two and a half, all the way out to 10, I figured a lower magnification for my hunting rig. Would be uh, would be ideal, 
like I said, keep it fancy, lightweight, compact. Didn't want a gigantic scope on my thing, but uh, this should do just fine. I'm going to put these back on, and uh, as promised, we'll take a look at it after it's installed on my rifle, or maybe I'll document that along the way. You'll just have to stick around to find out. But I got to say, compared to my other Viper, this one definitely is nicer, even though the other one is technically a bigger magnification and it's supposed to be a nicer scope. This one feels nicer and it looks nicer. The one downside about this one here is even though you're still spending a lot of money, it's still made in the Philippines and not made here. But um, the other one, the other one's made in the Philippines and I have another cheaper one that's made in China. So regardless, it's an American company. They're still, they're still good scopes, but I just wish there was more manufacturing here at home. So there's the scope. And then last but not least, oh, nice. I love when they do these things. You get the good old scope sock. Gotta love it. Oh, never mind. It's not the scope sock. Sorry, guys. I got excited for no reason. It's just a extremely large lens cover or lens cleaning rag. Still pretty cool, though. My other one isn't this big, so something to hold on to. Check out. Then you get your owner's manual, which I will not bother reading. And that's it, y'all. So let me go get my rifle, and here in a second we're going to take a look at the scope mounted. Alright. Okay. So here we are. What I'm going to do now one by one take them out put them back in you can never use too much Loctite guys I'll tell you that right now By the way, while, while we're sitting here waiting, see that video over there? I just got 126 views, like pretty much overnight. So I want to thank you guys. Those of you who are watching my videos, it really does mean a lot to me because uh, it shows me that the effort I'm putting in is is being noticed. Um, you know, of course, I'm getting better over time. Um, my first few videos weren't that great, but, you know, I'm hoping to try to put out better content for you guys, and so, again, I do appreciate all the, all the new viewers and all the people that have been here since the beginning. I want to say thank you, because when I woke up and I saw that, I was pretty shocked, because most of my videos get anywhere from 5 to 30 views in a week you know and uh, this one got 126 in three days so I must be doing something right or maybe you guys just like gun stuff I think it's the second one but that's alright because I do too and more of these types of videos are to come guys just to let you know alright so now that I've got a Loctite on all of these and don't worry I'll do the bases too actually you know what I'll do that off camera you guys don't need to worry about it um now that I've got them uh loctited I'm gonna take a second look at my work and make sure that the scope didn't move too much And I noticed that some of them get pretty loose after I keep doing that. So I'll have to keep going around maybe one more time. 
But before I do that, I'm going to take one more look down the scope. And looks pretty good to me. Of course, I'm just eyeballing this right now. Ideally, I'd like to get a torque wrench and uh, a level so I could do this official. But I've never had a problem doing it this way in the past um, without those tools. So I'll give this one a shot also and we'll just see how it works. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. But of course, eventually I'd like to get a torque wrench and a, a level and a better bench. But all things in due time. And for those of you wondering, this is my Remington 700 Tactical and 308 Winchester. Um, my current upgrades now is the Harris Bipod and the Vortex uh, Viper HS. And I have this little Amazon cheek rest slash um, ammo holder. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but this cheek pad is pretty comfortable. What I don't like is it kind of slides around a little bit, but I'll tell you what, it for 10 or 20 bucks, whatever it was, it holds like 40 rounds of ammo and uh, pretty comfortable. It comes with different size cheek uh, risers too if you want it smaller or just the, the flat out thing. But man, I'll tell you what, this rifle is smooth. I don't know where people get this idea that Remingtons aren't great, but I've had three of these hunting rifles from Remington and all three have been fantastic. They're definitely not the most accurate platform, but in my opinion, they are tried and true. And uh, so far, I haven't had any issues with any of the ones that I've had. But anyway, back to the scope. This thing looks awesome. Almost exactly how I envisioned it. Um, I suppose I could have gone with the, the shorter mounts. But I didn't want to risk it and go too small. So I got the medium ones instead of the, the, the smaller ones or whatever you call the short range ones but I gotta say they're extremely durable um, I usually go with worn mounts and that's that's what these are um, I really like them and I use them on most other platforms but I got a pretty good deal on these vortex scopes scope rings so I couldn't pass them up um, and that's just the truth you know the day in the life of a of an average consumer whenever you see a good deal on something you go for it you know, so I don't know how much these are normally. I want to say they're pretty expensive, but um, I went ahead and went with them. And the reason why I put them on this rifle is because I bought the newer, uh, the newer Vortex scope. So I figured it'd be a good combination, and uh, it would look pretty sweet. Uh, but don't get me wrong; these worn scope mounts are fantastic. But the other thing is they're a little bit heavy. So this thing's already heavy enough. I wanted to maybe lighten it up a couple ounces, and that's what uh, I did with this. The, this vortex setup so I lined it up with a different scope and uh, different rings so I think she's ready I just got to take her out and uh, once I do take it out and uh, get some rounds down range I will be going ahead and updating you guys on not only the functionality of this scope but maybe sh throwing some shots of zeroing it for you guys and then an overall uh, what do I think at the very end so stay tuned for that second part of this uh, unboxing slash review but uh, as for today I'm extremely happy and uh, this scope turned out to be a little better than I thought it would be and um, what I mean by that is the quality is a little nicer than my other Viper um, you know just as simple as the finishing touches on the scope caps I mean or the adjustment knob rings these things are sharp but in a good way you know um, the length of it was one thing that I was focused on I didn't want something too long I didn't want something too fat either because uh, so when you start getting into those like 50 and 60 millimeter objectives or whatever 55 whatever they offer 
it's a little bit too much for a platform like this, especially when you just want to sling it over your back and and keep moving or keep hiking. So. So I guess if I did want the longer scope, I could have just I could just do this. And now I have a <laughs> I have a rifle on top of my rifle. <laughs> it's crazy. So this is that sunshade that they included. It just screws on the end of the scope. And I really actually like this feature. And definitely shooting in the summer this will come in handy. But aside from that, just the way it is, with the scope caps on, we're going to call it a day, guys.